What's up, Sunsy fans? It's Patricia, and welcome to part two of my first holiday haul. I actually just filmed my first sniffs for the five bricks. Look at that. So I will link that video in the description, or actually I'll put it a link in the comments section, and you can click on that if you haven't seen that. But we got lots of other stuff now. I do have a couple warmers, and I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save those to the end, and I'm gonna show them to you, but I'm gonna set them up and kind of film videos that way, just because I'm sure you've probably seen them unbox, and I'd rather just set them up and show it to you. So let's get into it. I First off, we received as a consultant, if you bought the early access bricks, you get a mold. So I'm gonna put my mold aside and I put my bricks aside. We're just gonna grab and go. So I have a scent pack in newborn nursery. This is for a brand new customer that is a brand new mom. So congrats to her. For one of my locals, she picked up Silver Bells in the room spray. And if you look on site, Silver Bells room spray is on sale for some reason. That makes me a little bit nervous, but yes. For my husband, I picked up a fluffy fleece in the washer whisk. He loves the washer whisk. It's a nice way to scent your bathroom and enjoy a comforting, moisturizing bath all at the same time. For my sister, she loves the fragrance flowers. So we have three in the brand new holiday scents. We have Swirling Snowflakes. And this is the Darling, excuse me, Dahlia Darling. We also have the Maple Vanilla Glaze. So I'll smell these in bar form here in a second. And we have cranberry orange cider. I picked up a replacement dish for the Grateful Hearts Warmer. I like to have a replacement dish. Obviously it helps if you break it, but it's actually good if you're making samples and you just wanna do a quick switch of the dish, make a couple samples, put your regular wax back on to resume melting. That really comes in handy. For the customer that has the new baby, she also picked up a bathroom cleaner, and this is an apple and cinnamon sticks. So as a Scentsy Consultant, we send out lots of samples. So I have two felt samples. As the weather gets cooler, sometimes we can send out thin, regular wax samples in the mail, but until then, we'll stick with those. So I have the Holiday Oil 3-pack here. This just fell out. I love Scentsy's oil. I just finished up one this morning, a big one. But here we have three pack and they're the smaller size. So you'll see here, I put them in this nice little canister with some foam. This is a great gift if you know someone with a diffuser. It doesn't have to be the Scentsy diffuser. These are really nice. So like the foam keeps them nice and secure and they're just five milliliter size bottles. So it's just nice and manageable. So let me read you the notes. The first one is first snowfall. And this one has a description of a blanket of frosty air settles over eucalyptus and cedar wood. Let me smell this one. Yes, I can smell the eucalyptus and I can smell the cedar wood and the brightness of the frosty air. This is almost like a cedar wood eucalyptus spin of frosted vanilla with, without the medicinal kind of tone to my nose. Oh, let me put it that back. The next one is frosted fir balsam. I'm a little bit nervous about this because sometimes I struggle with balsam if it's very strong. It says snow falls over fir balsam and rosewood Dusted with peppermint. The lighting in here is terrible. <laughs> so, I do like peppermint. It's nice and festive. Yeah. This is actually a pretty good blend. Like, nothing, like, when I smell it, I'm like, what am I smelling first? And part of me is like, I smell the peppermint, I smell the, the fur balsam, and, and I smell the wood, which is probably the, I swear that's what it says, rose wood. Yeah, this is about a medium intensity, so not overly strong, which sometimes is a good thing. And the last one is Sweets for Santa. Look at the font on this, isn't that nice? All right, holiday baking fills the air with cinnamon, uh, something vanilla, lemon vanilla, and hints of caramel. The, the writing's really hard to read. I don't know if you can see that. Anyway, <laughs> lemon vanilla, is that what it said? Lemon vanilla. I've been noticing that they have been putting um, like cinnamon with some citrus, so that's kind of, but it did work in another blend, so in the, um, I think it's cranberry, I don't know what it is. Okay. I'm not really sure what I'm getting here. It almost smells like butter. Sometimes when I don't know what, a, what an oil smells like, I'm like, oh, it must smell like butter. Okay. 
Maybe it's coming from the caramel. I can get some caramel. I can get a little bit of a brightness, but it doesn't scream lemon. So, but I, I do smell like a ground of vanilla. Anyway, cinnamon, I don't really get a whole lot of cinnamon. So there we go. That is the oil three pack. I will get to that at some point in my life. <laughs> Not for lack of trying. I have a lot of oil. I need to go on an oil no buy. All right, let's go with pods. I got a lot of pods. I picked up 10 pods in the flash sale. That was a good flash sale. Uh, okay, first one we have is Arctic Kiss. This is really nice. It's like a, yeah, it, it's very hard to explain. This is a unique kind of scent to me. It's sweet. It's like, it's got a very like, whoa, wake you up kind of tone. It almost reads laundry. I think this would have made a great laundry scent, but obviously Fluffy Fleece is a really good laundry scent. We have Newborn Nursery. This one smells like baby powder. Woo, that one is a strong one. Amazon Rain. I found this one long lasting for me in the pods. There's dirt on it. It's got like, it's got jasmine. It's got melon, like honeydew. Mmm, coconut milk. Anyway, this is nice. This is a catalog staple. Good for a bathroom. And we have the three new ones. Let's put these aside and we'll smell them with the wax. Alrighty. Speaking of wax, let's just grab and go. I have some regular wax for um, myself plus a few local customers. So we have Autumn Sunset. This is like apples, pumpkins, fall leaves, and spices. Something like that. I, I have this warming downstairs in Drew's room. It's really, really nice. I love it in Drew's room, actually. Oh my gosh. I think we have six of these. So the one of my local customers, actually two, have fallen in love with a certain brand new scent that Patricia doesn't really like that much. So can you guess what it is? <laughs> oh, shoot, that didn't work. Hold on, <laughs> hold on. There's only five here, but I know there's another one or two. We have Frosted Vanilla. I think these are all the same Frosted Vanilla. Yes, and Frosted Vanilla has birch, it has a frosty air, and it's got the vanilla. Woo, and it smells like a little bit medicinal to me, which is not, a, I'm not a fan of it on day one. I can tolerate it better on day two and in a mini warmer. It seems to be a little bit more gentle that way. So I will put that aside. And if you're a consultant, I would suggest picking up a frosted vanilla, even if you don't like it, because there's so many people that message me looking for that one. So anyway, let's get rid of this box. This order came in the biggest Scentsy box I've ever seen. If you want to see it, check out the end of my brick video. All right, I really like this one. It's a long, like it, it's been around a long, long time. It's it's a veteran, a Scentsy veteran, and it has pumpkin roll. So this is kind of like a pumpkin roulade with the yellow cake, the spices, the nuts. Oh, Frank, this is good. Pumpkin pie filling, and I don't even like pumpkin, but give me the pumpkin roll because I love it. So yes, 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 yes. All right, a new release this year, Crayon Apple Crumble. This is bugging me, just one sec. There we go. <laughs> Crayon Apple Crumble. Now, I don't get a lot of the... Oh, this one smells really good. Oh my gosh, this is good. I'll put the notes below. Obviously, cranberry and apple. And a little bit of bakery. There's not a lot of bakery in this, but you can bakery it up if you want. Oh, but this is really good. I really like that. Mystery Man. I think this has cedar, bergamot, and something else. Kind of like one of the bricks. Mmm. Mmm. Let me just see something for a second here, folks. Look at that. Look at that wax. I love it. Okay, you can definitely smell a tree with a sexy man. Yeah, I think I think this one is still a little bit more like my hero, but <laughs> anyway. I do like Mystery Man. I've warmed it finally, but it has not made it into Tester Tuesday, but at some point it will. We have cinnamon buttercream. This is like mascarpone cheese and it has cinnamon and a cinnamon cake. Yeah, this one reminds me of Sweet Cream Spice, which you may see in the Corner Cafe uh, free four-pack bundle if you buy one of the three October warmer specials. So that is something to keep in mind. Okay, I love this scent from the Harry Potter collection. It's Ravenclaw. And it's one of the hardest scents to describe. <sighs> Just makes me happy. It's like sexy and fresh and vanilla and like earthy, 
suede and leather. Some people say it smells like old books. If old books smell like this, then call the librarian because I want as many old books as you can fire at me. Okay, the other thing I want, I want you to think of is if you're a Scentsy addict and you have a Scentsy club, licensed bars are great to put in your club because you can't use these as rewards in parties. You can't like use them as half offs or host credits. And so at least if you put them in your club, you can get a 10% off discount. Now you can obviously buy them as a six pack bundle, but it's just something to think about. I'm considering putting this in my club, but I have like a bunch of bars I've been stocking up. So here's the other frosted vanilla. Put that over there. And I see some sense of the season here, which is always exciting. Let me just pause the video for a second. I'm gonna sort out these bars and I'll be right back. Okay, I have another frosted vanilla. <laughs> I think that's seven, only seven. All right, so we have some bars here in front of me. We have the holiday three pack, we have the scents of the season, and we have the two rugby scents. So let's bring up each one. We'll do the rugby ones first. It's called the rugby collection. We have one that looks like the colors of Australia, but I don't know if this is Australia. And then one is New Zealand. So is this one New Zealand? Well, I don't know which one's which. I would think this one is Australia just based on the colors, but I could be wrong. All right, so let's smell. We have all blacks. So Sensi says, sparking citrus, I think they forgot the L, sparking citrus issues a defiant challenge with a rush of cool mint and fur awesome. Whoa, this one is strong. Whoa, this one is, um, okay, it's very cologne masculine, assertive. Okay. Some citrus, this reads bergamot all the way, but it doesn't say bergamot. But some citrus is like bright and zingy and some is like kind of like twangy and funky. This is kind of a twangy, funky one. And then you combine it with the mint and the fir balsam and it's it's kind of like, um, it's better than roll of the dice, but it kind of reminds me a little bit of that, but better. So anyway, it's black. It's a black wax. I love the black. <laughs> I'm just not sure I like the scent. So we're gonna move that over here. The next one is Wallabies. So the favorite thing of any Scentsy fan is when you have one color in the front and one color in the back. So this one is also in the rugby collection, which is kind of interesting. Energized Bergamot charges down the pitch, supported by sage and cedarwood. Okay, so this is softer and like more blended, more well-rounded, not as in your face. This rugby player is a little bit bit of a, he's not so aggressive. I think I like this one better. Uh, it says, and I thought I would like the other one better. It kind of goes to show, sometimes you never know. I smell bergamot. I think sage and cedarwood blends very well together. I would say about a medium. So I will put that in Tester Tuesday voting. It was in Tester Tuesday voting, but, but it didn't um, make it in. All right, let's move to the holiday three pack. So let me bring up the holiday collection. And we have three different scents. The first one is Cranberry Orange Cider. This three pack right here, you can buy it as a three pack. You save $1. You can only buy it that way, unless you have a Scentsy Club. If you have a Scentsy Club, you can put them in individually and get them that way. All right, so let's bring up the scent notes for Cranberry Orange Cider. It's a very pretty, um, I love the packaging. It's a dark red wax. This is tart orange cranberry and apple mulled with cinnamon sticks served warm and wonderful. Oh, this I like. Mm. It's about a medium intensity. The orange doesn't scream at you orange, but it's there. I think everything is nicely balanced. We have orange, cranberry, and apple. Oh, I really like this. It's different and I like it. Mm, I want to eat it. I like this, cinnamon sticks. The cinnamon is nicely played in here. I don't find it overly strong. I find it nicely balanced. It's not aggressive or biting me. It's good. So let me just quickly smell the pods and compare. Mm, I like the wax better. Something in here is a little bit more aggressive, maybe the orange. Yeah, anyway, I am pleased with that one. All right, the next one we have is Maple Vanilla Glaze. We have yet another maple scent. 
I feel like everything is maple and it's, to be honest, it's kind of getting a little bit confusing because as a scented consultant, you pride yourself on trying to know all the scents and et cetera, et cetera, but it, it tends to get confusing. <laughs> all right, and if I'm confused, that means the average customer may be confused as well. All right, it says delight your senses with buttered caramel and dark maple drizzled over caramelized sugar. All right, as soon as I see caramelized sugar, I, I, get, I get a touch nervous, I'm not gonna lie, because caramelized sugar can read a little bit burnt, but we'll see. We have dark maple, which means it's gonna be a little more assertive probably, and buttered caramel, so let's see. Whoa, yes, this is definitely, this is like a maple version of salted caramel toppy. That's what it reminds me of. If you like salted caramel toppy and you can picture a maple kind of, you know, just <laughs> joining the show, then that's what I get. The more I smell it, the more I like it. I mean, I like it. There's something very grounded about it, which I really, really like. It's about a medium intensity. So let's smell the pods. Yeah, there's a little bit more airiness to the pods, but it's hard to totally reproduce them identically, but yes. All right, and that last but not least, we have Swirling Snowflakes. So I have I have two sets. One is for me and one is for a local customer. And obviously the pods. It says, a flurry of sparkling peppermint dances in the fresh air with a hint of delicate eucalyptus flower. So we have sparkling peppermint, fresh air, and eucalyptus flower. I like, I tend to like these kind of scents, but now I'm a little nervous because of frosted vanilla. So we'll see. Okay, this is very bright. This reminds me of, um, is it Glacier? What was that one called? I forget the name of it. Glacier Ice? Glacial Ice? Not Glacial Water. Oh, it's very sweet. There's a vanilla note on the bottom here I can smell. It doesn't say that there's vanilla, but I can smell it. Maybe that's the eucalyptus flower because there's something very special about this. It's very intriguing. It's very, it is a, pr a pretty, the peppermint is kind of like softened by a little bit of what I think is vanilla, probably the eucalyptus flower and the frosty air. Hmm, this is really nice. I want to keep smelling it. Ugh, there's something, something very intriguing about the scent. I can't wait to warm this. I can't friggin' wait. Uh, this one is about between light and medium because sometimes peppermint, you're kind of scared. Oh, that's good. I like that one. I I really like that collection. I hope, I hope, I hope it warms well. And let's smell the pods. Yes, pods smell very similar. So there you go, swirling snowflakes. That one is the one that most of my customers are trying to get separately. And I said, no, you can't buy them separately. And sometimes if certain customers want certain ones, I can buy a three pack and divvy them up. But if everybody wants swirling snowflakes, then that's, that's a dilemma. Okay, so I have the Sense of the Season collection. This is an early release collection for consultants. It, they come as individual bars. They don't have a special little box or anything like that. And something different is we have four bars this year and I've smelled all four. And I would say this is probably one of my favorite collections. I will give you a little bit of details in the comment section below of the video of when these are gonna come out. It's very late here at night. I just wanna get this video done. So let's get into it. I love this first one. It is Blue Christmas. The scent notes are holiday fragrance of orange peels, cloves, fir needles, and cinnamon sticks. And this, I go a little bit rogue because I don't really smell, I don't really smell all that stuff. I smell the fir needles, but it smells like a fir needle plus a shaving cream to me. That's what I get. Don't really get the cloves and cinnamon aspect, but I get a bright, fresh, clean fir needle with like a beautiful shaving cream, creamy shaving cream smell. So that is one of my favorites. There's a few people that don't like that one, but a lot of people really like it. And that's why we see it come back. So the next one we have is available in the catalog, but this is special packaging is clove and cinnamon, classic scent of cinnamon sticks fused with clove. Now this is very, very strong. There's clove and the cinnamon is a, a red hot. Now I'm gonna tell you, this is a fantastic performer. It's fairly strong and it lasts forever. So if you're somebody that says, man, I just want a bar that I can put in and leave for days, then I would say go with this one. Yeah, one thing I will say about Blue Christmas is it warms very strong, but it's not very long lasting to my nose. This one is strong and long lasting. So there you go, clove and cinnamon. All right, the next one is one that left us last year and it did not return, 
cozy fireside. This has warm spice notes with zesty ginger and cinnamon. And this is also a terrific performer. It's not as strong as clove and cinnamon to me, but it lasts a long time because it's got those base notes. It's a little bit smoky, mysterious, and the ginger really sets it off as a different kind of scent. Yeah, and the more I warm this over the years, the more I enjoy it. It's a very cozy, warm holiday scent. You know, it's a chilly night. You want something to kind of make you feel cozy. This definitely does, hence the name. So that is about a medium to a medium plus when you warm it, so that is good. And one of my friends, Shannon, this is one of her favorite scents. It is Saint Nickerdoodle. So we have a beautiful creamy colored wax. Now I have warmed this many years ago. It's baked apples, spices, and a dusting of powdered sugar. And the one thing that differentiates this is that powdered sugar. It's almost like you had like a pastry with perfectly cooked, perfectly spiced apple with a nice bakery cinnamon. And then at the top, you did your powdered sugar and you took a bite into that pastry and your, your face lights up and you feel happy and delighted because this just hits all the, all the feel good spots. <laughs> I know I'm bragging it up, but this is an excellent collection. Personally, for me, probably one of my favorite collections since he's ever done. So from memory, I don't remember a lot about how this warms, but I know it smells terrific. So I'm looking forward to revisiting this. That is Saint Nickerdoodle. So what I do, what I'm going to do is show you the two warmers I picked up and then I will set them up and we'll branch off into the setup warmer. So let's get into it. The first one is Trim the Tree. So this one is a 20 watt warmer. I will break, insert a little video here of this particular warmer. Okay, so here we have Trim the Tree. This is a 20 watt. It was really hard to get out of the, uh, the, the packaging, but if you take off the top, which is very tall, you'll see the dish. But right under the dish is the, the bulb. It's very, very close. I would say like maybe like five millimeters uh, separating the two. Let me just put that back. And one thing I would say is there's some seams and you can actually line up the seams so that you don't see them. So there, there's trim the tree. All right, hope you like that one. The next one we have is festive fir. So this one is a 25 watt tree. So we have two trees, but two slightly different looks. So I will set this one up and you can take a look at this one. Check it out. Okay, so this one is a 25 watt and it's called the Festive Fur. And this one, because it's a 25 watt, there's a bit more of a difference between the bottom of the bulb and the top of the dish, but the dish is very, very heavy. So that's nice. This one was easier to open. There is a, a little notch in the back that you have to line the cord up with, so just keep that in mind. So this is a totally different look, but I wanted to set it up just in a similar spot. So yeah, pretty darn cute. All right, out of those two warmers, did you have a favorite? I personally do, but I'm gonna keep it to myself. I wanna hear what you guys have to say. So thanks for spending the last few minutes with me. This was very long, I apologize. It's very late at night. I wanna get all these things packed up for my customers. So thanks for spending the last few minutes with me. I hope you have a great day in your neck of the woods. Take care and I will see you guys in the next video.